Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil and today I'm going to show you how to fix an audio issue that happens after you render out your videos. Now I'm not sure if this happened due to a Windows update or a DaVinci Resolve update or whatever, but all of a sudden I started getting what's called audio artifacting. It would be these high pitched little just like squeeches and and stuff like, you know, little eat or or whatever when I would try to talk. Don't know why it started happening necessarily, but I did find a fix to it. Now I'm going to play some quick example footage of the original recording from OBS and then after I render it out and remember I did not edit the video or the audio at all all I did was click render and re-render the video from OBS and it started to make this change I'll play the good one first and then the bad one second hello and welcome in this is just example video that I'm going to test the audio on and show you the audio artifacting hello and welcome in this is just example video that I'm going to test the audio on and show you the audio artifacting. All right, now that you heard the issue, if that's the issue you're trying to fix, I'm gonna save your day to day and save you a ton of time. Now, what you after you edit all your video and get everything done that you want to do, when you go over to the, the deliver page, that's where the fix happens. Now, I would usually always go to the YouTube deliver part, but I would not recommend doing that anymore because you cannot fix this issue from in here. Um, what you need to do is go to the custom part of this Pick a random title, don't matter. Now click on the video section here and it's under MP4. You actually want to go down to QuickTime. If your computer can't pull up, play the QuickTime, uh, I have heard of this issue. The newest Windows Media Player is supposed to be able to, to handle QuickTime. So make sure you have that if you're having any issues. But the next thing you want to do is come over to audio because obviously that's going to be the problem. For whatever reason on MP4, the only option there is is AAC under Codex. But once you have it on QuickTime like it is now, you have a few different options and you want to pick Linear PCM. After you have linear, linear PCM selected, you want to come down to the bit depth. I'm not even sure what necessarily this is, but you want to change it from 16 to 24. That's what fixed the issue for me, perhaps. Maybe if that doesn't fix it for you, you want to go to 32. But for almost everybody, if you set that to 24, then go ahead and add over and render out that video. Your problem is going to be fixed.